Akbaruddin Owais Sahib. Honorable Speaker, sir. Sir, I thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to seek clarification from the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister and the Finance Minister, sir. Mr. First, sir, my party, AIMIM. Sir, in my speech, I had requested for a white paper on the six guarantees. Or I had requested the Honorable Finance Minister Saab to please give us the detail as to how much is the requirement for the implementation of six guarantees and the other promises made before the election to the people of the state of Telangana, sir. Sir, nothing uh, specific has been replied in this regard, sir. I hope the Honorable Finance Minister Saab would give the details, sir. Sir, I may be wrong. I had given all the details, sir. As per my calculation, 2,15,568 crores is required for the six guarantees. Please let me know if I am right or wrong. Also, if I am wrong, kindly give the details as to why I, I am wrong, sir. Sir, also to fulfill the other promises, the requirement as per my calculations would be 91,444. So the total requirement would be 3,07,012.86 crores, sir. That is 3,07,307, sir. 3,07,012, sir. Sir, also, sir, in my speech I had requested an allocation has been made of 53,196 for fulfilling the promises of six guarantees. Honorable Finance Minister Saab had failed to give the details of this amount breakup as to on what schemes and which scheme this amount would be spent, sir. Sir, going further ahead, sir, Honorable Finance Minister Saab hasn't given a reply to me of the question which I had raised, sir, and this is a very important, sir, the difference in the figures, sir, Honorable Speaker, sir. Sir, if we have to see, as per budget book of 24-25, statement of demands for grant for the year 24-25, one by two volume, sir. So for road, building and ports revenue, 8,384.88. Capital is 5,923.13. The total is 14,308.01. And school education also, 16,970. And again, capital is 961. The total is 17,300. 931, sir, and higher education, technical education, altogether, as per the demand of grants, statement of demands of grant 24-25, sir, one oblique, one by two, sir, book, the total amount is coming to 21,378.17 crores, sir. Sir, as per the budget speech book, sir, the same has been is mentioned as 21,389. The difference of amount in crores is 10.83. Sir, again, if we have to see for the medical and health also, so the demands for grant, one by two volume says 11,072.49. And the Honorable Finance Minister's of speech says 11,500. So Social Welfare Department also so the uh, demands for grant says 18,110.17. Honorable Finance Minister Saab, Deputy Chief Minister Saab, speech book says 21,874. And tribal welfare, sir, the demands for grant says 11,711.15.
and as per the budget speech it is 13,313 so sir the same is with the agricultural department also 15,603 is in the books demands of grants sir and honorable finance minister saab speech says 19,744 crores sir sir so the total difference is there so i would in, in the energy department also sir 12,991.34 is mentioned the demands for grant for 24-25 one by two volumes sir as per the budget speech honorable finance minister saab says 16,825 sir so it is the same with the industries also sir so honorable finance minister saab hasn't given me the details sir why is there why is there difference of amount in budget speech and budget volume sir sir also sir sir i would like to have a clarification about the interest payment during the financial year comes to 22751.82 crores that is 1895.98 crores per month sir am i right or wrong i need a clarification on this also sir sir and going further ahead sir sir hence during the four month period of oton account april to july 2024 the borrowings would come up to 17742 crores sir this is what i assume so i would like a clarification from the finance minister am i right in this or am i wrong sir sir i have also asked about dharani sir sir honorable minister saab haven't spoken anything about dharani sir are we going to continue with the dharani or not this has to be clarified sir and about the metro train for old city sir i have also requested the honorable uh, minister saab to kindly come and do the inauguration or a lay a foundation stone for this metro train corridor which was left over then it was earlier sanctioned mg bus stand se falaknuma tak to uska foundation stone rakhne ke liye main darkhwast karunga aur yesterday sir honorable uh, legislative affairs minister had given me a reply stating that a letter would be will be issued to all the colleges for not holding the certificates i hope that the finance minister i was expecting the finance minister to give this assurance again because it is very important sir it is very important because after completing a particular course either they have to go for higher studies or they are going for seeking job but because of the fees which are due from the government receivable to the institutes they are not releasing the certificates so kindly issue an order to all the institutes stating that that the dues would be released in due course of time and also please mention ke by when are you going to release sir now the the sad state is that sir if we have to see the dues sir from from the year 18 and 19 there are dues sir so at least we should clear those dues sir 18 and 19 if we see sir i am talking about the minority sir sir 18 and 19 and 19 and 20 20 and 21 21 and 22 22 and 23 sir rtf dues are 289 mtf dues are 33.82 the total dues are 323.54 this is i am talking about only minorities sir but the same situation and i would say in fact it is more worse than the minorities in sc st and bcs also so all the students belonging from sc st bcs or minority sir their dues are from the year 18 and 19 kindly in phase manner at least we need to clear the dues so that the certificates are not been withheld sir about overseas scholarship sir 22 sir 250 applications 13 crores are due 250 applications again fall season for 22 50, again uh, 250 applications sir the total dues are 64.50 sir sir here we can issue letters and tell the institutes to release the certificates but what about these overseas students 
the same situation is again with the SC, ST and BCs, overseas students also, sir. Sir, they, their semesters have finished, they have completed their course and the fees is due, sir. So I hope that Honorable Minister Saab would take an immediate action on this, sir. Sir, also, sir, I had mentioned about, and no reply has been given, sir, I had mentioned about GO314. This needs to be considered, sir, transfer of spouse, sir, which has been pending from so long. Sir, I have also requested for a registration office to be established or started in Balla Goda in Old City, sir. I hope this will also be considered, sir. I have also spoken about old pension scheme and PRC. The Honorable Finance Minister, sir, haven't spoken anything about this, sir. Sir, the, about uh, the old pension scheme and the PRC, sir. Sir, I have also spoken about, sir, this uh, 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 rental dues which are there for the Timri schools. All the schools in Timri's in backward class BC Corporation and SC Corporation, all the schools, residential schools, which are running in rented properties, the rents are due, sir. Kindly clear those due, sir. I have also mentioned about one geo, geo, wherein an amount was released, 110 crores for the masjids and all repair. The collectors never carried out those works and the amount was spent for some different works. For this Ramzan festival, we need not give any money. We can say that ke wo paisa jo 110 crore rupee aapko diya gaya tha, aap usi ko istemal kariye aur Ramzan se pehle ko ke finance department ko dene ke liye ya minority department ko dene ke liye. Sir, I have also spoken about, sir, this two bedroom, sir. Sir, two bedroom allotment hua, lottery hui, logon ko de diya gaya, lekin aaj tak bhi they are not allowed to enter, sir. Unko chabi nahi di gai. To mein ya chata hoon ke jin ko allotment ho chuka hai, at least they can be allowed to have the occupation of the unit which has been allotted to them. Sir, this has been pending, sir. Or ek cheez, sir, us mein... In my constituency, I had requested that we have taken up two-bedroom construction at a site where the site belonged to PWD department and GHMC quarters were there. We evicted them on the assurance that when the two-bedroom would be constructed, you will be allotted and the allotment letter was given to them, a, a pata passbook was given to them, unit number was given to them and the units are not been allotted to them. That can also be cleared, sir. I had also mentioned about judicial powers to work board, sir. I had also requested about <coughs> judicial powers to work board, sir. That has also not been said anything, sir. About, sir, we have also, I had, uh, today my, my, my colleague have also spoken about that ek aag lag gai thi bazaar gaat mein. Election code of conduct tha us waq, Nampalli assembly constituency mein where then government has announced a compensation of 5 lakh marne walon ko to jo log mare the wahan pe unko 5 lakh dene ki baat ki gayi thi hukumat ki janib se 10 log mare the unko dene ka vaada kiya gaya tha bazar ghat mein election ke waqt aag lagi thi bazar ghat nampalli constant ye ye elections mein sahab ye elections mein 13th of november, 13th of november sir तो वो एक 5-5 लाख जो लोग मरे हैं उनको और बोजी गुट्टा पर हम बार-बार दरखास्त कर रहे हैं कि टू बेडरूम लेने के लिए उसके ऊपर भी मिनिस्टर साहब ने कुछ भी जवाब नहीं दिया तो मैं उम्मीद करता हूं और उसके साथ ही साथ सर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सर आई विल कंक्लूड सर जीएचएमसी के अगर लोन्स देखते हैं तो 6374.48 करोड़ हैं JNNURM, SRDP, CRMP, SNDP. Or agar loan amounts hum dekhte hai, jo payable hai, dena hai ab unko, for the year 24-25, 1253.67. Ye dena hai. And I have also given the details of number of bills which are pending. 5,541 bills are pending. The amount that is due to the contractors are 1,153.57, sir. So, this amount, 
and lastly honorable speaker sir so the government is due to ghmc for the current financial year for the current financial year government is to pay to ghmc professional tax of 300 crores property tax for government buildings 107 crores funds for patana pragati 227 crores mutation fee of 175.46 crores transfer duty is rupees 2950 the total dues from the state government to ghmc is 3759.46 to maine request kiya tha ke 3759 mein se kam as kam aadhe paise to de dijiye ghmc ko uske upar bhi minister sahab ne kuch bhi nahi kaha main ummeed karta hu ke is taluk se bhi dekhenge kyunki work sanction to ho gaye hain lekin एग्जीक्यूट नहीं हो रहे हैं वर्क स्टार्ट नहीं हो रहे हैं बिकॉज पुराने बिल स्पेंडिंग है और पुराने शहर की तरक्की के लिए भी हमने बात की थी उम्मीद करते हैं कि ओल्ड सिटी को भी न्यू सिटी की तरह तरक्की दी जाएगी मैं मिनिस्टर साहब का शुक्रिया अदा करूंगा कि उन्होंने लाड़ बाजार और चारमीनार पेडिस्टनाइजेशन के बारे में कहा है मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि चारमीनार पेडिस्टनाइजेशन प्रोजेक्ट और लाड़ बाजार का जो फसाट का काम है वो इमीजिएटली लिया जाएगा and most important thing sir hamare paas old city mein meri constituency mein three flyovers manzoor hue hain teen nahi to nahi kam as kam ek flyover bahut zaruri hai usko manzoor manzoor ho chuka hai sirf ek ke liye aap ek foundation stone rakh ke uska kaam shuru karaiye aur maine shehar ke traffic ke issues ke bare mein kaha tha minister sahab ne us taluq se bhi kuch nahi kaha maine yahan pe pollution ke bare mein bhi kaha tha uske bare mein bhi nahi और लास्ट शायद उम्मीद करता हूं कि आप हंसेंगे नहीं मगर एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू है मिनिस्टर साहब हमारे शहर का कि डॉग बाइट्स के बारे में कहा था मैंने बहुत सारे कुत्ते कुत्ते नए नए कुत्ते भी आ गए नए ब्रीड के भी भोग रहे हैं काट रहे हैं शहर में लोगों को परेशान कर रहे हैं मैं उम्मीद करूंगा कि आप ये डॉग बाइट्स को भी कम करेंगे कम कम करने के लिए जो भी जरूरी इकदाम है वो करेंगे क्योंकि ये बहुत ही ऐसा है सर बच्चियां मर गए हैं छोटे बच्चों को भी कुत्ते काट के ले गए अभी भी मसला है उम्मीद करता हूं कि आप एक मीटिंग भी अगर बुला लेते हैं जीएचएमसी के सिटी एमएलएस के तो हम ट्रैफिक के ऊपर ये डॉग बाइट्स के ऊपर स्ट्रीट लाइट्स के ऊपर बिन फ्री बना दिए गए हैं बिन उठा दिया गया है लोग अब रास्ते में कचरे फेंक रहे हैं अंबार है लाइट्स का मेंटेनेंस नहीं है सारे मसाइल हम उठा सकते हैं आपने जो मौका दिया इसके लिए मैं आपका शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ